A local couple is caught in the battle over same-sex marriage. They say their wedding plans fell apart at a Richardson hotel because the chef refused to cater for their reception. Fox Wars Dion Anglin in Dallas with details of their story. Yeah, that's right, uh, Clarice. So when the U.S. Supreme Court cleared the way for same-sex marriage in Texas and all other U.S. states, two North Texas men started making plans. And tonight they say those plans haven't gotten far. Happily together for 24 years and ready for marriage. Dallas couple Darren Merchant and Rick O'Connor started planning. We both had kind of agreed that we wanted to do it legally and we wanted to do it with friends. The chosen wedding venue, the Hilton Garden Inn in Richardson. It was really exciting that it was actually moving forward. Had you set a date? Yes. What was your date? January 1st. The planning, however, hit a wall. Darren has a daughter who works at the hotel. She told me today over the phone about comments she overheard about her dad's and Rick's wedding while at work. The chef was refusing to do the dinner for the reception. Um, he had major issues with us being a gay, a gay couple. About um, us having the right to be married, about it creating the apocalypse, uh, about it causing all sorts of other issues, uh, comparing us to Caitlyn Jenner. Merchant and O'Connor posted on social media about the situation. The hotel then reached out to them, hoping to resolve the matter. Today, Hilton's corporate office in Dallas issued a statement. It says, in part, we understand that this situation has caused extensive grief and stress for the guests and the LGBT community. We welcome everyone to our hotel and emphasize that we have zero tolerance for any discrimination of guests or staff members. When I asked the event coordinator if they thought this would be an issue, she re reassured me it wouldn't be. And then it turned out it was. And for now, that is where the wedding plans sit with Merchant and O'Connor at a halt. We've both talked long and hard about that. Um, we're not sure. We're really not sure. Now, the hotel also pointed out in its statement today that it has not been able to substantiate the alleged comments uh, that were made. Meantime, Rick and Darren uh, tell me that they have a slew of new supporters that they have uh, gotten through social media, folks who are encouraging them to continue or stick with their plans. The latest live here in Dallas. Back to you. Thanks, Dion.